Uh, okay. So, Bunny. Yes. This might seem a bit odd. But I want to go back to Starship Troopers. Okay. If I may, for a bit. So, a few days ago, a number of days ago, maybe like six or seven days ago, I shared a Starship Troopers meme on our discussion page. Yes. And FYI, for any new listeners out there, we have two Facebook pages. We have one Facebook page that's just for advertising upcoming episodes of the show, and one where we discuss episodes of the show, i.e. we just post whatever funny weird shit that we can, which is sometimes connected to the actual show. So there are two Facebook It's it's a lot of stuff. It's things that that I get a chuckle out of that I think our fans would get a chuckle out of. Yeah, but I don't I, particularly I, want to post out loud. Yeah. You I know? specifically try and look for things that are I- at least in some way related at least to an episode. Yeah. But so so I, I posted a, a meme. I forget what the meme said, but it was a it was a the sh- it was the shower scene, the legendary shower scene which I still yes. believe is the best scene in Starship Troopers. So I casually posted it on the discussion page, and then I left it at that. But then, like, it's a day later, and I'm still thinking about this meme in the shower scene. And then, like, two days later, I'm still thinking about this meme and still thinking about the shower scene. And so I've just been obsessed with the shower scene, and I've been trying to figure out why. And then I figured it out. I figured out why I'm obsessed with the shower scene in Starship Troopers. It represents... It represents a better future. Yes, it does. You see the shower scene. Like, there's a lot of... The entire film is set in the future, and there's a lot of looks at the future. But the one that that I love the most is the fact that here is just one giant communal shower where mm-hmm. all men and women are naked showering, and it's not a big fucking deal. Yeah. I love the hell out of that. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, I like that a lot, too. Yeah, we're all here. We're all showering. And it's so casual. They're all laughing and talking. It's not a big thing. And it's not not bad for a fascist society. Yeah. They they have a a surprisingly upbeat look at sexuality for a fascist society. Yeah. They, they but really I do. love that. What it reminds me of is Ally McBeal. You remember Ally McBeal? I remember it. I don't think I've ever watched an episode. I don't think I've ever watched an episode either. But the one thing that I do remember is that in the law offices or whatever the hell, yeah, um, they they all had one giant unisex bathroom where the men and women went to the bathroom together. Okay. And I remember not watching an episode, but watching scenes where they go to the bathroom and all the men and women are hanging out in the bathroom and they go to the bathroom together. And I'm like, this is how it should be. Yes. Like men and women are equal. Oh, but you can't go to the bathroom together. You can't shower together. You can't do all of these well, things that's together. Well, the, that's the thing. I mean, aliens are never going to land and be our friends if if we've come this far technologically, but we still can't figure out how to go to the bathroom. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, you're going to... You, you Grow up. Fucking grow up. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So Starship Troopers, and especially the Starship Trooper shower scene, that represents a better future for me. It also yes. means, and I honestly do think this, the... The Starship Trooper shower scene, at least to me, really does say, hey, look, there are no more Christians. Yes. Because, mm-hmm. the whole thing, because I still listen to American Family Radio, AFR Talk, the Ministry of the American Family Association, yes. Christian Talk Radio, and they are still super fucking pissed at Target for their bathroom policy. Good Lord. Like, like. They, they they still 100% believe that, oh, you're, you're letting men 
go to whatever bathroom they want. So you're saying you want to rape our wives and daughters, Target? How dare you? We're going to make sure Target as a company is torn down brick by brick. And it's like, Jesus Christ, it's not a big deal. And the proof that it's not a big deal is the fact that there is a major bookstore chain in America that yeah. has the same bathroom policy, but you're not freaking out about that company. No, you're 100% focused on Target. And so the fact that here are men and women and they're showering together and it's not a big deal in the future means, mm -hmm. oh, then there must not be Christians in this future. Yeah. And now that I think about it, I didn't see a lot of religion in this movie. No, and 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 a fascist society. Why would they want that? Why would they? Why would they want religion? Yeah, yeah. So what I'm saying is, um, I really want a fascist society. I guess is what I'm saying. Because sure, it's a life goal. Yeah, sure, we'll be living under tyrannical rule, but hey, men and women can shower together and go to the bathroom together, and there's no Christians. So it's a give and take. It's a give and take, is yes. what I'm saying. It's a give and take. You mm -hmm. win some, you lose some, you take the good, and then you take the bad, and you take them both, and there you have the facts of life. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm bring it on, Trump. That's what I, <laughs> bring it on. Mm hmm. Um, I, I I I have recently started um, my anti bucket list. You know You're all the yeah all the things that I I want to not have done um, before I die. Good, you know. Good. You're, I, I want to. The yeah, I, I I want to go to the grave not having done certain things you know huh? like eat shit like in the middle of a sexual encounter you shit in my mouth yeah no i don't yeah, want to do no, that either no yeah no i i, I want to no. get through i want to get through life without having that you yeah know? not into toilet play right you know and, and, oh and there are just there are tons more that's the thing about about an anti-bucket list it It's infinite. Yeah. It's I never infinite. wanna I never wanna get into hockey. Yeah. I never want to get into hockey. It's kinda like that never have I ever thing. Yeah. That you see. Yeah. 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 Never shall I ever. Never shall I ever. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Never shall so, I ever jump so, out of an airplane. Excuse yeah. me, I'm not gonna do that. So just an idea for our for our listeners, you might want to consider an anti-bucket list. That's good thinking. Yeah. That's good thinking. 